a developing story out of Manchester tonight. FBI agents digging in a mobster's yard looking for evidence in the largest art heist in U.S. history. That search went on until dark. News 8's Bob Wilson has the latest. More than a dozen FBI agents armed with digging tools and canines and metal detectors swept this side yard in Manchester. They closed Francis Street in front of mobster Robert Gentile's house as they searched for nearly $1 billion worth of stolen artwork. What he knows about artwork is a velvet Elvis painting. Just about that. Or maybe dogs playing cards. It was the largest art heist in American history. In 1990, two men posing as Boston police officers tied up the guards at the Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum and then cut the artwork right out of the frames. Today, those frames still hang empty in the gallery where a Rembrandt and Vermeer were taken. They were among 13 pieces of art that are still messing two decades later. This afternoon, Gentile told his attorney, the FBI will come up empty in their search even though they found a price list for the stolen art in Gentile's basement. They ain't going to find nothing, N-U-T-T-I-N. He was pretty clear about what's he in the was, house. He was very clear about what was there, yes. Gentile's attorney says Robert Gentile is 81 years old, currently awaiting trial in the Wyatt Federal Detention Center in Rhode Island. They say this is not the first time or even the second time they've been out to the house, and he says he's not surprised if they came back for more. If you look at the evidence that they took from the home, uh, on the, the second search. Um, some of it is pretty damning. I mean, some, some of it, there, there's a lot of smoke around my client, and he, he understands that. They have taken guns and drugs out of this house in the past, but never any art. Gentile told his attorney he doesn't know who has the art or where it is. If he did know, he would have returned it a long time ago for the $5 million reward. Neighbors say they're getting used to the FBI over at his house. I guess they found an elephant tusk before. The last time they raided, they found a bunch of guns and an elephant tusk, so he's got some kooky stuff in his back in it all over the yard, so. No word from the FBI on if anything was found. In Manchester, Bob Wilson, News 8.